Well, hey there, beautiful. How you doing? Guess what? I'm going to be showing you my smaller eyeshadow palette collection today. And I'm really, really excited because it's a smaller collection, but there are some really, really awesome smaller palettes out there. And it's much less of a collection than my eyeshadow collection that I showed you last week, which was my entire larger palette collection. That thing took like an hour to film. And if you want to get into that, I will leave a description box. In <laughs> I will leave a description box below. What? <laughs> and it is much less of a collection than my large palette collection that I showed last week, which if you didn't catch that, I will put a card up in the top right corner and I will put a link in the description box below so you can catch that. But here on this channel, I do fine art, but I also love eyeshadows and I'm a makeup enthusiast. So if that sounds like it's a good deal for you and you're in my lane, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, put the notifications on. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. It really helps me out a lot. So um, I'm just going to stop with that stuff and we're going to just get to the real stuff. <laughs> so I'll see you at the end of the video. Oh, well, hello, my friends, my artistic friends and my fellow makeup lovers. Guess what? We're going to go through my small collection. It's going to be a very, very, um, probably speedy video. I would think of my smaller eyeshadow palettes. Now, what do I mean by small? Technically this is small, but it has nine shades in it. This is the exception, okay? I am not going to be including these because I included them in my last one. And as a rule of thumb, I don't think it counts as a small palette whenever it's got nine shades, but it is in a nice compact small box. Yes, that is true, but it's not a small palette technically. What I'm talking about are like little sized palettes with about six or less shades in them. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is a brand new one called the Rebel Grays by Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place and it's so pretty. I even swatched them. Um, I might swatch some of these, but like there's a cool gray and a warm gray, right? Oh my God. You can see that the quality is there. Like the quality is there. And not only that, not only in the shimmers, I mean, it, ooh, it's a little crumbly, but not only in the shimmers, as you can see, but these mats, I mean, Juvia's Place is great quality anyways, but the mats have really become even better and smooth and soft. And I, even though I don't, well, they don't swatch very good, do they? Um, I would say that they really do give an expensive palette a run for their money. They're just as good as like a $60 palette. Maybe not so much for the quads, but like I'm just saying that the quality of their shadows is bar none, some of the best on the market. I think that they've done such a great job and they've really improved their formula even more, improved upon something that was great to begin with. Okay, <laughs> here are a couple of my Wet n Wild palettes. Um, this one is the older kind that, I mean, you can still find it in some CVSs, but this is what um, their last model looked like. And this is what their newer latest packaging looks like, not model, but packaging. So um, this is Petalette. It has been shown some love. I've gone through two or three of these over the years, and it's a great little palette. If you want to kind of play around with some muted purple tones and you're not quite ready for something like this. So um, it's great. I like it. And this little guy right here is really pretty. And um, I don't know if it's going to swatch any good. Nope. But I'm not really digging in. So it's a nice, subtle, pretty shade. And this transition shade is very pretty. And this here in the outer V is very pretty. Um, I typically don't use this right here. And this is like the brow bone, but I do use this one and it's fantastic. And I bought it recommended by Tati. And of course, Tati is Tati, you know, and I feel like I can really trust her judgment. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love this shade right here. I love a good shimmer. I love a good glam shimmer, but I mean, shimmers aren't entirely what's going to sell me on a palette. It has to have nice mattes too. And these mattes are really nice, actually. They blend very, very well. You've got the one press glitter in the in the middle that, you know, if it's, if you like press glitters, that's cool. I like them. I don't always use them though. I mean, they're not like typically something that I reach for, but if I do, it's a special moment. I might pop it on the lid or on like the very outer edges of my eyes, um, just where it's not directly in contact with my eyeball, I guess, you know, because uh, press glitters aren't really supposed to be used or they're not intended to use on the eyes, but neither are 
pigments technically either. But it's very, very pretty. I mean, look at that. It's very pretty. I mean, yeah, it's nice. I do want to swatch this. This is such a pretty, like, taupey. Oh, wow. Trying to move it so you could see it. it. It swatched it in a weird place. I can tell I'm going to be swatching this stuff. <laughs> okay, moving on. Camo Flaunt is the name of this one. It doesn't say it on the back, but it's a very, very good one. It's like four bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with these things. Four dollars. Good quality. Great quality, in fact. Okay, so these these are not as good a quality, I don't think. It's the Elf by Size series. Now, I like this one a lot. This is the blue one. This is the I Hear You get it um but it's very very pretty with my eyes i really like this mat here this mat's nice too to deepen up in the outer v or in the crease if you choose to do so the, the shimmers are okay i usually take something a little bit brighter blue and stick it in my inner corner but if i need to pull something together with these palettes real quick like if somebody calls me and says hey can you you know meet me in 10 minutes or meet me in 15 minutes or whatever i can throw something together with these you know palettes i haven't tried this one this is the truffles one i really really like this and I loved the deep rich tones so you know I just thought well if I'm gonna have something that's going to be technically neutral this might be the one for me just to have on hand for a quick look but um, these are certainly not things that I necessarily reach for over my like huge palettes either this one it's okay um, I thought I would like it more than I did but I mean I really haven't played with it a whole lot to get I haven't really given it a fair college try but uh I did play around with it one day and it's okay you know it's just okay it's called rose water this one is truffles and this one this favorite one of mine is I heal you but you really I mean for three bucks you can't really go wrong with elf also something that you shouldn't sleep on is if you have a dollar general near you this is from believe beauty that's their private label brand and um or not private label but it's dollar general's private brand you can only find it in store you can shop online and see like you can't technically add to cart and buy anything from them online you have to actually go to a dollar general store to see if it's in stock this one is called midnight express i have not played with this yet but I, you can tell i've dipped into it though <laughs> but i mean what really got me was that these i think there are two two three mats in here this is kind of like a satin shade these are two mats and then we have these two beautiful shimmers right and then we have this interesting kind of dark i'm not sure what the formula is on the, i've got glitter on my fingers i'm trying to figure out if that was supposed to be a duochrome but they have other palettes i do want to check out some other palettes this one just kind of drew me in because it's kind of like a nice green smoky kind of thing okay i'll let you know if it's any good but, um, I mean, the formulas look good, at least. And I do know that I've used other Believe Beauty brand stuff. I've, they have wonderful nail polish for like a dollar to two fifty per polish. And um, their finishing spray, setting spray for four bucks is fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. And their eyeliners are great, too. So don't, don't sleep on that, okay? If you got a Dollar General nearby, stop on in. Also, I am not affiliated with any of these brands. I don't get paid to say any of this. Nothing. This is all me. And that's pretty much me, all me on the channel too, you know, so <laughs> you know what to expect from me. Okay, let's talk about these little quads from ColourPop. We got two Hello Kitty quads. We have a glitter quad and we have one from Animal Crossing. Let's go ahead and talk about this one. I was surprised by this. I bought it because I was intrigued by the tones. But once I got it, I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of intimidated by it. I didn't know if I was going to like it. But I actually really loved the way it looked on me, especially like this this right here, this mat blended out so beautifully as well as this. This isn't a mat. This is like a mat with a like a silver glitter in it. It's one of those mats with a little bit of glitter. But um, lovely pressed glitter if you don't like pressed glitters you're probably not going to care for it but it's very pretty and so is the shimmer i mean i'm just gonna have like swatches everywhere i got a feeling i'm gonna have to go upstairs at some point and wash off everything let's just go ahead and swatch that last one i mean how cute is that i love it it's like this nice like aqua color but it's also kind of on the warm side too. 
don't know. I like it. You got a little mirror in here. And it's just nice and compact. What, honey? What is it? Am I not paying attention enough to you? Guys, it's Jack. He shows up on every live stream, practically. Because I won't give him enough attention. Okay, <laughs> let's look at this little... ColourPop quad glitter quad. Okay, I wanted to get something from this collection that they had, but none of the quads I really like fell in love with too much. But for some reason, I was like, you know what? I don't have a glitter quad. And I say I don't really like favor press glitters. It's not that. It's just that when I want them, I want them on hand. <laughs> but I got to tell you guys, I will swatch this one. And this one, I mean, they're all beautiful, right? But this one is so unique and different. It's like this beautiful. Yeah, there we go. It's a duochrome kind of shade. It's very stunning. It's kind of got a green to orange, yellowy gold shift. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's worth it just for that one alone. I do like the other ones. Um, this, one, this one's kind of like a multi sparkle, like a rainbow sparkle. This one's kind of the pinky kind of green sparkle. And then this one's the purple that has a little bit of like a rainbow sparkle in it too. I mean, they all kind of have rainbow sparkles except for this one. But man, that shade, I got to look at it again. Ooh, look at that. That's so nice. Beautiful. All right, so these two were part of the Hello Kitty collection back in the summer. I wanted all four of them, but I talked myself out of all four of them because I didn't really need them all, all of them. And I was like, okay, you can only pick two out of the four. There was a an orange, a yellow, a pink, and an aqua one. I don't regret buying these, but I kind of wish I would have gotten the yellow one. So I might go ahead and buy that on the Black Friday sale or if they, you know, do one of those 25% off site-wide sales. This one's really, really cute. I like this. It's, um, I was really, really like, I liked the fact that they threw in this orange kind of peachy coral shade and, um, it just really changed the dynamic of the entire thing. They could have put another pink in there, but they didn't. And the shimmers are very great too. I like this one, especially because of that blue. Look at that blue and look at those teals. Blues and teals together just really speak to me and like blues like this and purples too. But, um, as you can see with my nails, these, this particular uh, nail polish also is Essie and it is called butter please for some reason i'm not sure because it's not a butter color but it's only one coat and it's awesome i love it and it goes perfectly with this eyeshadow so i might wear that tomorrow but yeah i mean they're really really cute i like them a lot and um they're very nice and compact so if i'm traveling or whatever and i need some colorful eyeshadow i can just throw these in the bag and go and go baby go one more round of color pop and we've got these exciting little guys and these okay um well okay so we'll talk about these three first the other ones are kind of part of another collection this is from the so hot collection isn't that it i don't remember i don't remember too hot too hot h-a-u-t-e right so there were two other palettes from this collection i did not buy there was a green one and i believe an orange one and i should have bought them because lord knows i have enough purples but you can never have too many purples. These are so nice and convenient. Again, a wonderful travel palette for those of us who love color. I, I gotta say like the blues are great for if you don't have enough room to pack in your bag, the blue moon palette, which I shown in my last one and um, in my large collection of eyeshadow palettes. But I like this too, because it's got your teals and, and your kind of mint greens. And then you have, you know, this nice little kind of blurple here, blurple shimmer, but you've got kind of a blurple shade here and then like a true cobalt blue. Love that one. I like this one too. I'm still kind of like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it because I do love the purple shades altogether. I really do. But for some reason, this one throws me off. I don't know why, <laughs> because it's got a lot of red in it. And But you can make like... A, a cohesive look with all these shades if you want it's fine but um for some reason i guess because it's like right in the middle it throws me off a little bit but um yeah i don't know it's just one of those things it's just like a um 
something that me as an artist, as a fine artist, looks at and goes, that should be more of a cool tone purple. I think if they would have like put this one next to it and then put this one on the end, that probably would like look more aesthetically pleasing to me. But as far as the shadows go, fantastic quality. Again, with this one too, I mean, that red... That red is a true red. I can remember searching for a true red. Like, I remember whenever cosmetics and makeup were not as readily available as they are now nowadays. And they we didn't have as many brands. And so I can remember, like, remember back in the day whenever, like, teenagers were all emo and everything? I was in my 20s and stuff. And I remember getting Urban Decay eyeshadows because that was really, like, the edgy brand that and mac like mac wasn't edgy but i mean mac was like you know the professional brand and i couldn't seem to come across like a true red it was really hard for me to find and so when i look at this palette and i see that red it kind of makes me smile knowing that there's all of these readily available shades you can pretty much find any eyeshadow palette or quad or something with just about any shade that you could possibly imagine if not in a quad or something like about this size definitely in a palette so, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I like these. I think they're cute. I think that they had this other collection that was a neon collection, and they could have gone so good with it, but they threw in a bunch of neutrals, and it was just, it was called Neutrals and Neons, and they had, I'm not dissing neutrals, but I thought it was weird to, like, just, I guess it was for the people that really wanted to just try a neon, but they maybe like had their comfort zone in neutrals i guess that's who it was for i don't know a lot of people didn't like them i i really didn't care for them i didn't i didn't have any interest in buying them but we have these two and these were from i think they were like oh what was that collection i think it had something to do with music because this was called lyric such a pretty bronze palette oh my god and this one is a more and um yeah i mean i would have liked for them to have five solid colors like this in all of these but i realized why they put the press glitter in there is because it really like elevates the whole look really and this this is so pretty i mean it really is and i even though i'm not really a neutral brown kind of girl if i do neutrals i want them to look as heather austin calls it i want elevated neutrals i want the kind of neutrals that are going to catch your eye and make you go wow that looks amazing like mm, this is awesome this little press glitter here we might as well go ahead and swatch it i keep looking at it so we got this one here and that one there so stunning look at how reflective that is too but um not only that but this shimmer and these mattes are really nice i like the the color pop formula look at that look how pretty that is okay i like the color pop matte formula it's very very nice of course it doesn't take much to make a brown i mean it doesn't i know a lot of people don't understand or really agree with me on that one but it's it's much easier to make a brown eyeshadow than it is to make a blue or a purple and um i think out of these two i gotta say that this one right here this one's probably my favorite out of the two just because i tend to favor like mauve shades over and like berry shades over a brown any day but this one is so pretty on the eyes I love it. I haven't worn it in a while. And you can see I just barely dipped into it. I'm kind of getting to a, a part of my life where I'm not afraid of like dipping into the darker colors anymore. I don't like <laughs> foot in the Oh, I, I said, it, said a bad word. Okay. I don't like, I don't feel like you should be like taking your eyeshadow brush and just like continuously like dipping, 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 pound, pound, pound that into the eyeshadow. But, you know, you take a little bit. You can put it on, see how you like it. If you want it darker, you can go darker. And you can always add, but you can't subtract. So that's always a, a rule of thumb when, when it comes to dark eyeshadows. But I do like a good dark eyeshadow these days. Okay, we are down to the last set. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to set these all out here. Or I'm going to try and set one, at least three of them in the frame or four. You know, let's just, let's do this. That's it. That's it. So we've got this. So 
we have these. These are the Essence Six Pan Eyeshadows. And let me tell you what, these are all very affordable. They're all $4 each at Ulta here in the United States. And I think they do carry these. I'm pretty sure they carry these over in Europe. I don't know. But anyways, um, these are the six palettes out of the collection. And I have to say that I am really incredibly impressed with a $4 palette that you can get at Ulta or a drugstore that sells essence. I mean, these are great quality for the price point. I think they're fantastic. I think these two are probably like the ones that I have liked the most so far. But to be fair, I have not dipped into the, the green. And I did a little bit with the blue. And I tried the coral. The coral, was, oh, I found the coral a little um, difficult with these two shades together. I really kind of had to like blend them together. Like I dip here and then dip here, then dip here and dip here. Because this was actually, this brown tone right here is actually kind of cool toned. And so you kind of have to warm it up with this. Otherwise it's going to get like, if you try to blend this first and then this on top, it's going to get a little bit dirty and muddy. But other than that, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, we've got the, the, I like to mauve it, mauve it. Like there's there, all these little like song puns, but such a pretty palette, right? Like very pretty it's it's more of like a cool tone mauve and we have this beautiful taupe palette absolutely gorgeous love it gotta swatch this because i gotta tell you show you what this is all about so like wow look how pretty it's such a beautiful tone like these tones are so well curated i'm sorry that was a cat hair i think either that or just a hair or something but oh my goodness yeah, these are really beautiful for four bucks. And it's one of those types of palettes that's beginner friendly. And this collection is, is I feel like it's very beginner friendly. This one right here, you know, if you're not ready to like go into like straight up cobalt, like I said, something like this, as bright as this, this is going to help you out a little bit because it's got enough kind of neutral shimmers in here and you've got this one lighter tone here that can be kind of your transition shade if that's how you you know your style of doing your eyeshadow um, otherwise you can kind of pack these in on the outer v and you can kind of blend them in however you like but um it's kind of nice because they're you know muted tones muted blue tones and i just find that whenever you're just beginning it's nice to, to have something there that will kind of bridge the gap between you being a beginner and being a pro, or at least being uh, an enthusiast or an experienced artist, makeup artist, or not makeup artist, but uh, makeup enthusiast. And so I really like the fact that these have been very well curated and they have a mirror in them and they're $4 and they're definitely worth more than the price tag themselves because these are some beautiful shades. I mean, wow. Okay, I'm just going to be here forever swatching if I don't <laughs> cut it out. But yeah, this one's um, bronze. Like, wait, this one's bronze to this way. Very, very pretty little palette. And this is the Dancing Green, as in Dancing Queen. Very, very nice little kind of like brown, mossy green colors in here. Um, you've got your nice mossy green is that mossy green? No, I'm sorry. It's like an army green. And then we've got this sort of brown color that goes in with it. And, you know, you've got several mats to choose from. And yeah, we've got Ice Ice Baby. I forgot to announce that one. And then we've got Coral Me Maybe and Taupe It Up. Taupe It Up. Sorry. <laughs> so there are the six eyeshadow palettes from Essence that I highly recommend you go get even if you are an experienced makeup enthusiast and you know what you're doing and you don't need any more palettes i still recommend you go get these because you know they're compact and you can get a really beautiful look in a hurry i mean it's all kind of curated there for you you don't have to make any creative choices necessarily it's all been made for you and you can bring them with you 
if you're going on vacation, if you're traveling or anything like that. That's about it, guys. So next time we will talk a little bit more about some eyeshadow palettes that I have picked up. And let me know in the comments below if you would like for me to do a look with any of these eyeshadows. So, all right, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I am a silly girl sometimes. And I was putting on my makeup this morning and I looked down and I had forgotten that I forgot to include these, so here we are. But I think it's great because I'm saving the best for last, which is this one as far as the smaller eyeshadow palettes goes, but I think I'm going to really love this just all together. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. So I have got the L'Oreal Quad Shadow. I'm, oh, what is this? Uh, Violet Amour. Okay, so I had had this a long time ago, kind of forgot about it, and then I saw Zabrina, that's with a Z. I will put her, um, youtube channel down below and she was wearing this in a video and it looked stunning on her and i was like what is that and i realized it was this because she had it linked in her description box and i was like you know what i remember this and so i decided to go ahead and get it and i have not used it yet again but i know what it's like it's not you know as far as drugstore quality um it's good but it's not the best but i like the tones the tones are beautiful. You've got this berry color over here and here, and you kind of got this cool tone lavender and a pinky kind of shimmery shade. It's They're not super elevated shimmers, but I mean, it's, a, it's you know, L'Oreal. I mean, they're not known for their eyeshadow necessarily, but I really love what they do with their lipsticks and they have wonderful mascara, but I really like this. And so here we go with the Big Mama. This is Nabla. This is a new brand to me. And um, they are an indie brand from, I, well, I say they're an indie brand, but they're in Ulta now too, not in the stores, but online. And um, they've got some really beautiful palettes. And this one, I had seen this on Angelica's channel and I fell in love and I was like, oh my goodness. And I cannot believe for the quality that this is, that it's only $24. I mean, Oh my God, this, this right here, this is what sold me on the palette. I'm just going to like swatch that. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move that bracelet out of the way and we will show this off. Oh yeah, mama. Look at that. It's so soft and creamy. So beautiful. The perfect shade of like sapphire blue, hence the name. And I think I'm going to just absolutely love it. I'm going to wear it in a video and I might go ahead and do a review on this. I'm not exactly sure, but we've got this beautiful bronze shade. All of these are so lovely. And um, then we have this shade too. Oh, nice, beautiful, stunning, stunning. I mean, and these mattes, oh, yes, 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 yes. I mean... <laughs> I don't have any more fingers, but, you know, we'll do it with my thumb. <laughs> you know, just a lovely little palette. This is easy glam look here, you know, and you've got some color involved with it. And it comes with a mirror. I am in love and I haven't even used it yet. And I know that I'm going to love it because I've seen reviews on it and I trust Angelica for her opinion and I am excited to use it. And what a beautiful palette it is. So there we have it. I mean, now I'm actually saying goodbye for now. Go back to future Jane. I will see you guys later. So I did cut my hair, but I didn't decide to actually show you and style it the way that I wanted to because since I've cut it, I've used a lot of heat tools on it and it is really dried out right now. So give me just a little bit to kind of repair things so I can show it off. But I will put a little picture here where you can see it at its finest as the stylist did it. But you know, I'm really, really glad you guys really have been welcoming and receptive to the idea of bringing eyeshadows into this channel and some more makeup and stuff like that because makeup is art. It is an art form and that's why I do it. Even like my dad last night, even though he met well, he said, you know, you're, you're very pretty. You don't need makeup to look pretty. And I said, dad, I'm not necessarily doing it to look pretty. I'm doing it for the art of it and because I enjoy it and it's fun and it's relaxing and therapeutic. And I, I said to my mom, I said, isn't that right? I said, whenever you look good, you feel good. You know, there is a connection there. And he's like, okay, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> he was trying to give me a compliment, but you know how it goes. You're just kind of like, yeah, I know, but this is fun. And that's really what we're here for, is to have fun here on this channel and to build a sense of community and that we all love art and we all love makeup or either or, that's fine. So we're going to have a makeup moment here. I'm going to try and just get through these without going on too much about them. But for my eyes, I am using the little e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow in medium brown. I love this thing and it's been a godsend. It's only $4. So I have that. I have, I use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot for my primer and oh my gosh, this is so awesome. <laughs> this is my eyeshadow today. This is the Roaring Twenties Reckless Palette by Rude Cosmetics. Check it out. Look how pretty that is. And the shimmers in here are gorgeous. And I love, I love the mattes too. I mean, they're not the softest mattes that I ever had, but I mean, they're really good. Like fantastic quality. This palette here is probably as good as some of my more expensive palettes that I've paid for in the past. So, I mean, check it out. I will put a link in the description box below for everything that is on my face. I think I paid about $21 for this palette. Amazing. <laughs> It just blows my mind whenever I think of the quality that it is. And so I also have the uh, House Laboratories, that's Lady Gaga's brand, um, the eyeliner, is that eyeliner? I'm sorry, Identify. Eyeliner is her liquid shadow. This is Identify Gel Coal Eyeliner in Punk. This is awesome. Like if you want a gel eyeliner or a black eyeliner that's not liquid, it's great, it's soft, it goes on and it's pigmented as ever. I love it. And that's really saying something. I really don't care for a lot of the products that she's come out with. I'm not going to ramble, but this is one of the products that I absolutely love. And then for mascara, I have been having some trouble with my eyes getting dry and I'm not sure if I have become allergic to certain types of mascara or certain ingredients in mascara, but this is the W7 I Love How Hypoallergenic Mascara. I got it off of Amazon for five bucks. It's got this wonderful little wand here, that kind of like hourglass shape there. So far, I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. And I'll let you know if it works or not, as far as like if it's improving on any kind of like comfort level or anything like that. But uh, so far, so good. I've got the lashes from Kiss called my lashes, but better. I had to think about that. And it's in all mine and I cut them in half and put them on the out, outer edge. And I really don't wear false lashes a lot. Um, if I do, I usually wear like halves and one, because my eyes, I have a lot of lid space, right? And whenever I see like heavier lashes and I put them on, I feel like it covers up all the work that I've done. And also please don't hate me for saying this, but I have long lashes to begin with. And usually mascara suffices. I don't know. But what I'm wearing on my inner corner is um, from Beauty Bay, which I just recently discovered. And I'm like, how have I not known about you? But <laughs> this is from the Disney Color Collection. This is the Shadow Stick. It is in, good Lord, that is small, Jungle Book. This is the Jungle Book one. And it's like this beautiful... All right, my battery died. Nice. Okay, so what I was saying whenever I got cut off was that in my on my waterline here, I have got from Beauty Bay, which I recently discovered. I'm like, how have I not known about you? You're amazing. Disney color collection with Beauty Bay. It is the Shadow Stick and Jungle Book. It's like this kind of periwinkle color. I love it. Yes, what you get in focus for me, please. There, <laughs> I just need to move out of the way. <laughs> but um, anyways, I love this little thing. It's really, really a pretty color. I really like it a lot and it's very affordable. So on my face, I have the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Long Wear in Neutral Porcelain. This particular foundation, I don't really wear foundation a lot, but I like to wear foundation sometimes in front of the camera and just whenever I feel like it, uh, it's, absolutely amazing and it's great for mature skin I think and it's worth $11 if you can catch this catch it because it's lovely it doesn't break apart it is nice and very skin like and it blends so beautifully and it just looks fantastic and it can wear for hours and it still looks great it still looks fresh okay so I have got mm, I need some tea So for my highlighter today, I used the Hello Halo by Wet n Wild. This is Rose and Ready. It's just a nice kind of 
it's somewhat subtle, but I use it underneath as kind of like a base highlighter. And then I went into ColourPop Strawberry Shake Palette here, and I used this color right here, Delish. I used that on top just a little bit. And I always go into eyeshadow palettes and use highlight, like certain bright colors as highlighters, light colors basically, and um, really reflective colors. And it works out really well, usually, but um, this is a great little palette. So as far as powder goes, I typically don't wear powder, but I do have today, just a little bit in the T-zone, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. She's seen better days, but it is a great, translucent powder. I really like it. Um, I, I really like finding good stuff at the drugstore. So, but as far as more luxurious stuff goes, I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, Cheeks Out Cream Blush in Cool Berry. Very pretty. I really, really like this. And it's just, it, it wears so well. And it, it's like as if all of those shades that I've seen, I think really fit a lot of skin tones. So I really like this little guy right here. Really, really nice. And for lips, I've got the lip liner from Rimmel and Tiramisu. This is lasting finish. And then for my lips, I've got the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, a lovely true nude tone. And I really like this whenever I'm wearing something more uh, glamorously colorful like this. So it kind of balances things out. So, all right, that is enough. I have spoken enough today oh my goodness so i'm going to see you guys on a live stream every monday now we're not doing sunday anymore we're doing monday and i will let you know what the times are going to be i know that we filmed at 8 p.m on sundays i think we're going to bump it up maybe an hour maybe 7 p.m so if that sounds good to you let me know in the comments below let me know what you thought of the collection and i will see you guys later you guys have a great day and take care bye I, I feel like you gotta like start a little bit, a little bit, you know, not just like slamming your, what am I trying to say? I mean, they're pretty bother, yeah, God, last week. So if you want to check out that video, I'll put a card up here and I will put it in the link in the description box below. Okay, we need to start over. <laughs> I am so excited to be showing you guys my smaller eyeshadow palette collection, which is a much smaller collection than my large palette collection. And if you want to see that, I'll leave a description. Oh my God, Jane, Jane. So I will see you guys next time. You have a great day and I will, I just already said that. <laughs>